Hi, Byway Butler here. I started my full-time RV and adventure January 1st of 2019. This is the first video I've made because I've been having some trouble with the uh, video equipment. So I'm gonna try it out today. This is the first day that uh, I've had a sunny day here in Lake Limestone and uh, just east of uh, Waco, Texas. And I wanna give you a view of it here and hope you like it. You can see it's a beautiful lake. It's a huge lake. This is a public area number two. I think it's a better looking area than for camping than the other one. They got three different ones than the one and three. They're not quite as nice as this. You can see my truck there and my uh, camper here, of course. And we're right here by the lake. And I just wanted to video this. The first night I got up here, there's a loop, I don't know if you can see it or not, that goes all the way around the lake up here. And I was walking it with my dog and I saw 19 deer in a bunch right up there. And I haven't seen them since then. However, I'm sure they're here somewhere. So you can see some wildlife here. Of course, there's ducks in the lake and uh, vultures and everything else down here, it seems like. People throw dead fish out, turtles, I found shells of them. But uh, overall, it's a pretty nice lake. You can see one of the turkey buzzards flying around because somebody threw something out over there. I don't know if he's going to fly over us or not. Nope. But you can see there's some nice houses on the lake. Nice boats. I've been here four days or five. I was planning on staying two weeks. There's not much to do here. So I'm thinking about trying to find another place to go to. Maybe leave Thursday. I've got my uh, name in a pool down by Houston. There's a free campsite down there. They got eight slots. It's in Sid County Park, I believe. And uh, you get free water, hookup, and sewer. And you can stay seven days. So I'm going to try that. Maybe just, uh, stay there seven days if I can, if I can get in. However, I was late putting in. Uh, they recommend putting in over two weeks in advance. I put mine in a week in advance, so hopefully in the wintertime there won't be much many campers there, but you never know. And uh, if I can, I'll do a video there if I get in. They lock the gates. Th they actually have gates in the park that lock at 10 o'clock, so you have to be at your RV by 10 o'clock or they lock you out. So, which I don't do no late night stuff anyway, so that worked for me. As long as the other campers aren't crazy and serial killers. Because <laughs> you know people are crazy, right? But anyway, I just want to show you this and uh, do a little video of it. And this is, like I say, I started January 1st. I originally went down to Memphis. Stayed. That was my first night of full-time RVing. I stayed at the Bass Pro Shop. And uh, stayed there overnight, it was noisy, and uh, I had a Chevy Avalanche I was pulling this trailer with. And the bumper was pretty much dragging on it, and I kind of got scared that, would, that I was going to break the axle or burn the transmission out of it. And so uh, I then went down to, uh, I'm trying to think where I went, Jeff Busby Park. I stayed there for about a week. And I got online, started looking for different trucks. And that's where I found this truck at. It's a GMC 2012, three quarter ton Denali HD diesel, 6.6 .6 liter. And you can see it's a pretty nice truck overall. It's got a few scratches on it. Not bad though. It's a 2012, so you expect it not be in perfect condition. Here's the interior, interior of it. It's got the navigation system there. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. It's got the navigation system here. This is for my backup camera for my trailer up here on top. But that's the navigation for the truck. Got a nice sunroof up here, leather interior. Every option you could have imagine on it. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. So uh, they say full, there's my generator. If you want to know what kind of generator I have, it's a Westinghouse and a 
We got two tanks full of six gallon water there and a gasoline for the generator. But anyway, that's a truck I had trade for when I trade my GMs or my Chevy Avalanche in. This thing really pulls it real good, so I'm real happy with it. And I'll let you see the back of it one more time. And that should wrap up this video. I hope you like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Byway Butler.